This book is called What Do You Do With a Tail Like This? And reading with us is, hmm, a tail. But what kind of tail is that? Who does that belong to? Let's see. Oh, that belongs to our bearded dragon. His name is Bernard, and he's going to read this book with us. You ready, Bernard? Let's do it. We took him outside to read today because it's such a nice day. So we thought he'd get some good fresh air while we read this book. You ready, little guy? Or big guy, I should say? All right, here we go. What do you do with a tail like this? Okay. Animals use their nose, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What? Whoa, it's windy out. What do you do with a nose like this? Look at all these different noses. Can you guess what each nose is? If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. And if you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you think Bernard uses his nose for? Hey Bernard, the book's over here. What do you do with ears like these? Look at all these different ears. Can you guess what they are? Let's flip the page and see. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. Is that crazy or what? If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. That is funny. If you're a hippo, you close your ears when you're underwater. And if you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. That's wild too. Imagine if you could hear a sound that's hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? Do you recognize any of the tails? What about that black and white one right here? That one's might be something you're familiar with. Let's turn the page. What do you do with a tail like this? <laughs> Thanks for letting us film your tail, Bernard. If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. Have you guys ever seen a lizard do that before? It's pretty incredible. And the tail keeps moving even after they break it off from their bodies. Now, I don't know about bearded dragons. Bearded dragons, I don't think they break their tails off. I think it's just smaller lizards. Bernard's like, don't talk to me about breaking off my tail. I will never break off my tail. <laughs> if you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. Tails are pretty important. What do you do with eyes like these? If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you can look two ways at once. If you're, let's see, who are we going to read first? We'll go here. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. And if you're a horned lizard, right here, 
you squirt blood out of your eyes. Ooh, yuck, I didn't know that. And if you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. Now that's pretty handy for a fish. I wonder what Bernard's eyes do. I need to read more about bearded dragons. We can read, know more about his eyes. What do you do with feet like these? Look at all these different feet. If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. Oh, that is so cute. Have you ever fed yourself with your own feet? Sometimes I see little kids and babies playing with their feet or sometimes even biting their toes. It's pretty silly. If you're a blue-footed bo booby, then you do a dance with your feet. Booby. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? Look at all these different mouths. What do they do? If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. Oof, I do not like mosquitoes. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. That is pretty crazy. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. I have a friend named Jen, and her favorite animal in the world is an anteater. So Jen, this is this little anteater, and this fact is for you. Enjoy. Okay. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them with a stream of water. That's pretty cool. That's a neat way to do it. Oh wow, and now they have even more facts in the back of the book. Sometimes books have a lot of interesting things in the back. You always have to make sure to check the back because sometimes they have extra stuff back there. That was an awesome book. I really, really enjoyed learning about all those animals. I hope you guys did too. Um, I'll try to find more books like this because that one was really, really good. So, Bernard, did you like that book? I think he did. What do you think? Nod your head if you liked it. Let's see. Will he? Oh, yes, I loved it. <laughs> that was the camera. Oh, let's see what he's doing. What's he doing? Oh, maybe he's maybe he sees a little bug he wants to eat. All right. Well, thank. Oh, there he goes. What's he doing, Bernard? What are you doing? All right. Oh, there he goes. Oh, did you see his tongue? I think he he thinks there's a bug he wants to catch. All right, Bernard. We're gonna say goodbye. Okay. Thank you for reading. What do you do with a tail like this? We loved reading with him. And we loved reading with you. Come back for more. Bye, guys.